everyone. Welcome to the first edition, the Zoom edition of Grace on the Hill News, as we have our guest here, Gus Klaus and Pastor Scott Wilson. And uh, we're going to try to present the news to you on this wintry day. Uh, what is today's date, guys? Today is the 15th. All right, of the day 20. after Valentine's Day. Oh, okay. You yes, left on the couch if you forgot Valentine's Day. So, guys, uh, something that I remember that was written down in our notes when we did our announcements. What about your reach team? That you are you hoping to have your meeting this week? Well, maybe this week. I don't know if Tuesday night's going to work because we're supposed to get more of this up until one o'clock on Tuesday. So we might as well go ahead and say we're going to cancel the reach meeting for Tuesday and plan for a little later. In fact, I'm thinking maybe maybe we may have to push back to Sunday and do it from uh, like uh, 4 to 5, and then that'll be in time for the men to have their uh, meeting at 5. So you're hoping by this Sunday, right? Yes, this Sunday. I'm hoping, yes, by that time we'll, we'll figure out how to get around town again. All righty then. What about you, Pastor Scott? Uh, what do you th- I, I hear that you're going to uh, be doing a, a Lenten series, aren't you? Because we're going to be going into Lent, right? Yes, yes. Wednesday we were going to do our imposition of the ashes. Uh, I'm going to say that is about 90% not going to happen based on weather. So there is no sense in, in trying to come out and... and ascend to the hill so we're gonna just start yes look Gus is my favorite fan yes he's got it yeah he, he has the book gather to grow and scatter to sow holding up his table leg so that it will be level but and this uh, way see this way if you're snowed in always have a good read with yes you. yes or that one yeah and so uh, but yeah, we're gonna we're like I said, ninety percent not gonna be able to do Wednesday, but we are gonna start on Sunday, weather permitting. And even if not, we'll do a, a virtual. But we're gonna start on here's your sign. We're gonna be talking about the signs uh, of Jesus in the gospel according to John, and we will start this Sunday with the wedding in Cana of Galilee. All right. So, and for those of you that, as Gus was holding the book, hold that book up again, Gus, because, you know, we had this in physical copies, but you can also get a digital copy, an e-book, a Kindle edition, that, you know, you don't have to have a Kindle, like I have an iPad, that's what we're doing our Zoom conference on, and I actually have the book on my iPad, which I prefer because I do a lot of reading at night whenever uh, there's low light, and, you know, with with an iPad, you can read it. And so it's, it's uh, what I've read so far, it's a really good book. So I recommend that everybody grab your copy and start reading. Uh, what about, you know, I guess we're kind of hoping to do ba- Bible and basketball, but it probably won't happen tomorrow, will it, Gus? I, I don't know. Hold on. Can, can you hold on just a second? I got a phone call coming in. Go ahead. I, uh, Daniel Hello? said if it doesn't happen on, uh-oh, wait a minute. <laughs> Hello? <laughs> This is Maxwell Smart calling. <laughs> oh, must, yes. Yes, Chief. The Chief yes. wants me to remind you, you know what tomorrow is? Tomorrow? Yeah. That Tuesday! That Tuesday. Man, I'm fat every day. What are you talking about? Yeah. That Tuesday, the day that you, before you have to start giving up things for Lent, you you celebrate by having Fat Tuesday. Yes, and if you live in, in uh, New Orleans, you can go to the I wonder if they're going to do it this year with uh, COVID. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. They're pretty Yeah, I celebrate Fat Tuesday Monday through Sunday. (laughs) Uh, Pretty much. (laughs) Just saying. Yeah, now, Uh, basketball, I don't know that they're going to be able to do it tomorrow. If the the field shut down, then then nothing's going to be. Yeah, if if we're shut down. A lot of of it depends if the weatherman gets it right. If he gets it right, we're, we're here. You know, we're at home. Oh, but I'm sure if they don't start this Tuesday, they'll start next Tuesday. Right. And, and what he wants, he's going to start off slow. Uh, Daniel's going to start off slow and he's going to uh, just do some like drills and, and games and stuff, half court games and stuff. And, be, and before, every, you know, until everybody gets in good shape. And so it's a good time to, to get out with some guys and just shoot some ball and, and just have a good time. Yeah. I mean, if they just play horse, I could do that. Yeah. 
Yeah, I, I mean, around the world. Yeah. I love. I'm, I'm a. I'm a big around the world person. So. Yeah. yeah. All and right. Speaking of sports, did you were you speaking of sports? Speaking yes. of sports. Speaking Hello. of sports, uh, we're we're still taking signups for our ages four, five, six, and seven indoor soccer. That's based on the age they were on October the first of twenty twenty. And so, if you paid last year, you don't have to turn around and pay again. Uh, you know <laughs> that's double dipping. And so, uh, because they only got to play one game last year, so. We want to invite those kids back, even if they turn seven, because we usually don't have seven-year-olds playing. But, uh, you know, we want you to try. Come on out. Have a good time. Uh, adults in the church, if you would be willing to be a coach, please see me and let me know. Um, I've talked to some of my coaches, and a lot of them are coming back. And they have even got some new names in there that are thinking about uh, giving it a try. So uh, come and help us out. It's a lot of fun. We have a, a Christian message at halftime. And, and, so, uh, and so we try to teach the kids uh, a little bit along the way. We also have a memory verse for each week that we say together at halftime. And so uh, you know, our indoor uh, soccer league, uh, we're, we're really proud of it. And we want to help kids uh, enjoy maybe one of their – at four years old, this is probably one of your first sports activities you've ever tried. Yeah. And if you don't know the number, you can just call Gus on his sleep chew. Uh, and he will uh, he will take your registration. We sure will. Great. And what's that number? One eight hundred. You can also sign up online at www.graceonthehill.org slash recreation slash recreation. Yes. Or you can if you go to that first page, you can always link over to it. But yeah, you know, as Mike says, you can you can bypass all the extra clicking by going directly to it. That's right. There, there is a banner that you can click on. It, it will take you straight to the application page. And speaking of that, this is, um, I know some people have approached me about getting on our notification system. And so I'm just going to kind of put it out there. The number that you need to text to, do not text this number to me. This is the number you need to text to. So you go to the two. That's T-O, where you would put your telephone number in and type in 80123. Then the catchphrase at the bottom where you would text your message is Grace on the Hill, all one phrase, all lowercase. And then tap send, and then I will be notified, and then I will put you in the Grace on the Hill group so that you will receive the notification. If you have problem, you can also just text me your number or send it to me in an email. Uh, and, and please include your name so I'll know who it is. Your name. What's your email, Mike? My email. Well, it depends on which one you want, but we'll use this one. Media at graceonthehill.org. Media. Media at graceonthehill.org. Speaking, you know, I think we got something that's kind of exciting, kind of in the work that may be coming up in the future. I think we may be having some worship uh, worship event that may be coming, and and I'm hoping for that. That may be happening on a Sunday night, and and I think people are going to be excited about that because, especially with all the COVID stuff going on, and 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 having to shut down church and close and open back up, and then having to deal with weather too. I think people are looking for a worship escape right now where people can just come in and just worship so uh, just like to reach out to all the people at church to just pray about this because we'll, we um, we can't really say a whole lot about it right now because it's still in the works but prayer would be greatly appreciated that this that um, we want this to be God's vision this is not our vision we want it to be something that God would like for us to do and so kind of keep that in prayer so, what's it like down there? What's that, Gus? I was gonna, I was gonna uh, pass along Sunday evenings right now, starting this coming Sunday at five o'clock. Scott, go ahead, because you are such a good explainer. <laughs> <laughs> You're just trying to give me a trouble, Gus. <laughs> okay, so I figured it out. Here, here's how we do it. So at, at five o'clock, the men will have a Bible study. Keith is leading it, and it'll be based on the movie Forrest Gump. Also at 5 o'clock, the, our youth girls are going to have a Bible study. Chloe and Morgan are leading that. 
And so if you are a youth girl, you can be a part of that. And then we have two other women's studies, and you can choose which one you want to go to. It doesn't matter. Uh, one of them is being led by Marcy, and the other is being led by uh, Michelle and Melissa. And so you can kind of uh, choose which one that you would like to be a part of. Let me hang on just a second. I'll get the get book. The book. That Michelle is going to be using right. here. All right. Yeah, and and the men, of course, uh, life is is like a box of chocolates. That's, it'll be interesting. The men will watch uh, portions of the movie and then answer questions. Here's Scott. Yes. So here it is. It's anxious or nothing. It's a Max Lucado. Max Lucado. And so if you like Max Lucado, uh, they'll be you know reading a, like I guess a chapter a week and then having discussion. And so that'll be a good one. And then Marcy, I know, will do a good job on hers as well. So, yes, we have four Sunday evening Bible studies starting next Sunday, uh, depending on where you would like to go. Yeah, and I think the one that um, that Marcy is doing is actually a study by Lisa Turkhurst, uh, Tierkurst or whatever, however you pronounce that. I know that she is part of the whole women of joy movement that our grace ladies like to go to in Pigeon Forge. And I think the name of that study is Forgiving What You Can't Forget. And so um, I think uh, that's a great thing about Bible studies is we, we all need Bible studies about healing, especially right now because we've been, we've been dealing with a lot of ups and downs for 2020. Yeah, but Jill says she's just assisting She's my voice over on the other side of the room, <laughs> trying to get me to laugh. <laughs> she making faces at you? Yeah, among other things. Yeah. <laughs> now, what about February 28th? What's going on February 28th, Gus? Oh, I don't have my gun. <laughs> I've been caught unprepared. <laughs> <laughs> So it's a, <laughs> it is Nerf Wars 2. I, well, I, I have heard there are some excited young people and older folks who are wanting to get out there and have some fun in the gym. We're going to do it again from 3 to 4.30. Uh, if you got some big boxes to loan us, uh, just drop them off at the church. We'll, we will put them in storage until the time has come. And that'll be great to hide behind. But we had a good time last time. I think everybody uh, got along pretty well. And even though somebody that's included on this uh, video cast threw me under the bus and, uh, uh, you know, and said that we, yes, well, in, in my screen, he's up above you. In my screen, he's over here. Uh, and we're hoping he's our special guest star. Yes. <laughs> special <laughs> guest star. Uh, yes. Mr. Mike. Uh, Mr. Mike. Mr. Mike. Well, Mr. Mike. <laughs> we, we are. Uh, we're, we would like you Mike. to come. We'd love for you to come, Mr. And so we can shoot you with the cards. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we can't hit him with a snowball. He's too far away. No, we'll just Whatever I can do to, to help. Yeah, but if you can help, <laughs> help the cause, make them more excited. Yeah, because first they were going to shoot Pastor Scott, and then uh, they, they did. told him on sun that Sunday to shoot me. And so. He's still shot. Just yeah. So, you know. So, yeah, but anyway, yeah, they still shot Pastor Scott and myself, so Pastor Mike, you could be another another person for them to aim at. Okay, side. well, just, like I said, whatever I can do to help. Yeah. <laughs> just wear a shirt with a big target on it. Yeah. And just walk yeah. around the gym the whole time. That'd be great. <laughs> that would be a great little sound effect when you hit me, you go ding, like what you see in the carnival. Ding, that would ding. That would be fun. Yeah. That'd be fun. Yeah. If you could do that, that'd be great. Well, yeah. guys, I guess that kind of covers it so far for this week. So I guess we just need to let people know, just follow us on Facebook because we are kind of disconnected because of the weather. So, and I know a lot of people don't like to get on Facebook and, and, and I can understand. But the great thing about the website is we have a Facebook page that's embedded into our website. So you don't really have to go to Facebook. You can actually go to graceonthehill.org slash Facebook and you don't have to worry about 
forgive me, seeing all the drama that you would normally see on social media, at least you can just go to our social media page and, and just be see blessed. See our drama. Yeah. <laughs> so, but, um, yeah, just kind of follow us on social media and text Grace on the Hill to 80123. Uh, you can get our newsletter. I know that we... Um, Matter of fact, we got a couple more weeks in this month, and then we'll be getting our March newsletter soon. So, uh, any anything that you can probably want the church to think about, Scott, to prepare for Lent? Oh, <clears throat> Lent! Lent is a season of preparation where we we anticipate uh, celebrating the resurrection, and so. Uh, what I like to challenge people to do is to consider something that you might want to give up for Lent. Uh, <clears throat> perhaps it's, you know, uh, a beverage like coffee or chocolate or, or maybe it's something else. And then uh, take the resources that you would have spent on that, whatever it is, set it aside throughout the Lenten season. Then on Easter Sunday morning, We'll have a special offering. We'll invite everybody to bring their special offering. This is above your tithes. Bring your Lent money, and we will put that in our community relief fund. And that goes to help people in our community that are in need. And so 100% of that money stays in the community, and it goes to people that are struggling with various types of things. And so, yeah, um, it's a great season. I've done it before. It's a, it's a good opportunity to kind of focus on your walk with the Lord. And, but remember, Sundays don't count. So if you give up chocolate, then you can have chocolate on Sunday. Yeah, it's and almost that Tuesday. Yeah. yeah. So you can, can eat be, all the chocolate you want. That's right. And it can't be stuff that you don't like. Because I thought about giving up beets until you said uh, it had to be something that you would yeah. normally. Can't give up calamari if you don't eat calamari. Never had those no. squibbly things. So. <laughs> and for those that may have, if you don't like sushi, yeah, for those that had the leftover Krispy Kreme donuts, you know, you can you can always save them and, and then eat them on Sunday. That'd be a great dessert yeah. for the Sunday dinner. <laughs> Everybody's gonna walk in church on Sunday morning hyped up on sugar. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess that just about does it. Um, so. Um, I thank you for joining and for helping making this possible because communication is a very important thing that we have to do, especially during this time. So, I'm Mike. I'm Scott. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> and he's Gus. No, he is the Mike. big goo. <laughs> the big goo and the big Mike. Okay. Bye, everybody. <laughs> Bye.